If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. What? Oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Hey, let me see. <sighs> uh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. <sighs> Let's go. Kit said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? Huh. That old fairy tale? Yeah. Like this war. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. You think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. It's about time. What took you? bum ankle of yours. <laughs> Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us. <laughs> hey, over here. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. <gasps> Something my mom used to say. Okay. Deadwood! Shoot the damn thing! Nice shooting. 
Hey, that don't count, by the way. Whew. Starting to think looking for this board wasn't such a good idea. All gone after all. No. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Are you? Questions later. We gotta get moving. On three.
That's all I got. You're on your own now. Hey, well, we still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait! <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit! <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight.
bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. <sighs> I'm fine, I... <sighs> yes. Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... <sighs> uh, we need to get her to the and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Briggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the Ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm a hundred... Uh... <clears throat> We'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the Traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know Fa Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance in the flesh. How about that? 
I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk, and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world, huh? Huh, <laughs> huh. Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, Traveler. All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then me... See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he... You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight... You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. I'll see you again, Traveler. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your- Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? Damn right it sounds crazy, but that's how I know you ain't lying. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah, so we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Hopefully this means you'll be leaving soon. 
Look, it's not personal. It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. So I'll make you a deal. You find a- Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, Traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally Travis with a got hot meal. Stuff more. But I, also ain't dumb enough to I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid if he asks. You tell him I gave. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. <laughs> Go see Riggs then. Ooh, I wonder if I can make a, a decent trap out of that one. He's got to polish his stuff more. Can you shoot straight with this? Hmm. Well, I need something with a longer barrel. Glad to see you're all right. That's right. But everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even... I don't suppose he was more particular about what. Right. Well, come to me if you ever... Geared up and ready. Should we head out? Or, uh, is there something you wanted to do first? Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward.
Take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. Stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets hadn't found their own? <laughs> No. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. <laughs> Locked, huh? Well. This is my house. Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie. Where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. <sighs> Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. 
the utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Guys, <sighs> uh, uh, this is all insane. Both the crystal and four. Uh, I better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. Uh, this looks important. And humility. We who have mastered space and time, who harness the very stars and perceive the threads of creation, now waver upon the precipice of a truth that even the wisest of us could not hold. This is looking good. <laughs> That's it. That's over.
too hard to spot. Here we go. <sighs> Glad that's over. All right, come and get some. This isn't looking good. Whew. Ah, it's over.
do this. That's over. 